um, I wanted to be able to release the fear of going to trial in a month. Mm -hmm. The other day, I had like a little bit of a breakdown because, you know, I get new information, right, from the attorneys saying, oh, there's new discovery. I got in the car. It was like three in the morning, and I drove down to my dad's grave. <laughs> Just so coach is like, um, hello, where are you? And then I blocked him. <laughs> 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 he did nothing wrong, but you know, I was just having a moment. Every time the phone rings, I don't know what I'm gonna hear on the other end of the phone. What is the new accusation? What is the new motion that needs to be filed? I am on edge 100% of the time. I think we all kind of saw at Coach Shaw's party how much love and support that felt really good to me as your friend to see, you know, the family show up, celebrate Sharif, celebrate you. Are you okay, Whitney? I've been on this healing journey for honestly probably a year now. Mm -hmm. A lot of, I have, my childhood is blocked from like nine to 17. And as I'm doing all this work, like memories are coming up and it's been really hard. I was in a very abusive situation, but I just like stuffed it so deep that I blocked all memory of it. You? Yeah. You're brave, Whitney. Yep. On the count of three. One, two, three. Out with a yell. Ah! <laughs> Good. Powerful work, everyone. So I want to go ahead and give a round of applause to all of you for being so brave. The whole point of this experience with the shaman is to be vulnerable and to be open and to work through something hard. What I got from that experience is that I'm gonna need my friends to lean on and help me get through this. I can't do this alone. How are we feeling? My body was like numb and tingly and fed off of like, I could feel everyone's energy and it helped push me a little bit farther to release more. And how about you, love? What was that like for you? It was intense and it's not my first time working with a shaman, and so I apologize to all of you for not getting here in a timely fashion, but I had some anxiety about it, to be quite honest. It stems from me not feeling very safe. Do you feel that way, like, right now? Like, after this whole experience, do you feel any safer? I'm very much triggered by our last trip and, and having my father's death weaponized against me. And now I'm here with the same group a few days after the anniversary of losing him. And it's a lot for me. Well, I used to feel like I was a safe space for you, and I'm sorry. You are not a safe space, Lisa. I know, I said, I said, I, never mind, I won't say another word. I'm not gonna lie, 